Hello Capricorn, it's Steph at Finding You Tarot. Um, I'm just hopping on here to do a uh, weekend tarot reading for you and this is for the uh, 23rd to the 25th of June 2023. So without further ado, um, let's see what Spirit has for you today. Um, I'm using the Wisdom of the Oracle just to get a general energy. As ever, everything has been pre-shuffled before the reading. So let's see... Messages for Capricorn, please, Spirit. I've got two here. Okay. We've got two cards that have come out here. Um, and actually, they both in numerology add up to a two because we've got uh, we've we've got twen twenty and thirty eight, and so those. This is about sort of choices, decisions. Um, the first card that came out was imagine. Um, so I think spirit is asking you to, uh, to perhaps expand your thinking, um, and you know, where, where you might be keeping yourself a little bit stuck. Um, you know, spirit is saying there's a big wide world out there and, you know, just start to, if, if you say, I can't ju just, just think actually, I am for a moment going to entertain the possibility that I can. Um, because the other card that you've received here is um, to be fair. Um, and to be fair is about you getting what you deserve. Um, it's uh, it's actually, it basically it equates to the justice card um, in the tarot. Um, so it is about balance. It is about uh, a, a, about equal uh, give and take. It is also about truth as well and wisdom. Um, you, you can see there's a, um, the owl is sitting on, on top of, uh, of the head. And so, so that's, that speaks on, you know, you have, you've sort of seen the light a little bit. And so now spirit is encouraging you perhaps out of an introspective phase, because a lot of the readings recently have been very kind of hermit like um the hermit hasn't come out actually i don't think but um but it, it, the energy has been very looking inward um and now we're and now spirit is saying to you now is the time to begin to look outward um and also as i look at the imagine card um i see she's um she's put this figure here is has a string attached to the moon and is actually pulling the moon down so it's like if you you know if you want the moon and the stars you can have the moon and the stars so it's a strong message here that, that perhaps now um hopefully because readings have been a little bit heavy and gloomy um the, that actually uh, the energy is shifting a little bit for you so let's have a look and see what the tarot has to say um again i'm just gonna um just shuffle spirit any messages for capricorn here Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn to, for this this weekend. Messages for Capricorn for this weekend, Spirit. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, again, I think we've had the Ace of Cups quite a lot. Um, and there's the moon again there. Um, but it's a full moon and the Imagine card has a new moon. So um, so it's uh, you're, you're, you're walking away from maybe deceitful situations or situations that don't really serve you, that aren't fulfilling you towards a new, a new situation, which I think because of the um, because because the figure has the string attached to the moon and is pulling it down. There's much more control here. I think that maybe you might have felt that you had a lack of control in your life. Um, okay, another eight. So the eight of pentacles. So really um, building something that is worth something. You know, if this is your expertise, it could it could it, it, it could be a very it's a stable sort of foundation um it's somebody who really really knows what they're doing and what they want and what they you know ultimately what they want to achieve and and also the the other message i'm getting here just um straight off the bat is um is is um you're you're kind of if you've if you've had a lack of money because we've got the, the five of pentacles across the top here, um, 
which uh, signifies sort of material lack and feeling out in the cold. It's, um, Spirit's actually saying now is the point at which you really have um, much more power over creating your own wealth here. Um, so, you know, you might not feel you believe that, but it's it, it, it's definitely coming out. And, and, and you might have just heard me laugh because actually, as I was saying, um, I don't think we've had the hermit come out. Um, the hermit actually has come out. <laughs> So, we, so um, yeah, spirit, very strong message now um, about um, you have been through a very, very difficult introspective phase where there has been a lot of disappointment for you. You've, you've perhaps felt really, really stuck in it. You've been trying to wring out the last drop from these, these cups, but there has been a point now of acknowledgement that you need to move on. And that is now what you're doing. Um, and you're moving on to a space where I, I wonder if there's a, something a little bit more entrepreneurial about, you know, a passion that you have um, that, uh, that, that, that spirit is asking you to look at um, because there's real, um, you, you might feel, oh, no, but that's just a passion that I have. Um, but spirit is saying, actually, no, there's there's real if you can if you apply yourself to this passion and I'm saying passion. I know these are pentacles, but I'm saying passion because there's fu there's fire in this card. You know, there's passion behind what he is doing. He loves making these pentacles. Um, and, you know, the, this also could be a bit of a, a, um, a block with uh with it in relation to money as well um you might f not have a great relationship with money but it's actually asking you to reevaluate and and look at your um your your relationship to your passions and what you feel they're worth because they're actually worth a lot more than you think they are so delve into those areas where you habitually give for nothing and then start to think about whether you can actually start to make something out of those things um for for you as well rather than just giving away to other people um i'm put in mind of a, a friend of mine who does the most um wonderful little sort of platters of cheese platters fruit platters and things like that and she never really makes any money out of it because she really loves doing it but she could make money out of it and but but she's not leveraging that side of it because i'm not sure she sees the material value she sees the the joy it gives her and the joy it gives other people and that's enough for her and that's fine but equally there is another side of it as well which I don't think is being explored here um, yet but spirit is actually very strongly asking you to do that um, because uh, we have the hermit the hermit stands in his wisdom and yet again we have another we've got another full moon there in the corner um but what i'm really drawn to here because um the the next card in the tarot to the hermit is the star and the star is about a wish it is about um our fulfillment and in in true balance with ourselves um and the star I don't know whether you can actually see it, but the star is actually contained uh, within the hermit's lantern. Um, so the the message here in relation to all of the other cards is you you have everything you need in order for your success. And also you have done the work, you have been isolated on top of that mountain, you have made those choices. And now, but now it is time for you to come down from that mountain and, um, and claim, and I'm getting that word very strongly, claim your wish fulfillment. Um, so I think this probably, um, uh, relates more to work than uh, than any romantic situation. So take whatever resonates. Um, but this this message really couldn't be stronger. You know, push your boundaries. If you if you think you can't, just say, well, why don't I just entertain the possibility that I can? 
And again, that's come out to me and that couldn't be stronger. So Capricorn, this is what I've got for you. Go and find your dream. Go and fulfill your best life. You can have it. You've done the work. You've been through all of that muddy, horrible stuff. And now is the time for you to begin to reap your reward. But what you need to do is to believe that you deserve it. Okay, Capricorn, lecture over. That's what I've got for you. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on the next one. Oh, and please, if you like my content, please do um, like, share and subscribe. I would love to grow the channel and continue reading for you. Thanks very much, Capricorn. Bye-bye now.